Saddam had been captured. The Iraqi army scattered. Lawlessness and fear gave al zarqawi his moment, and he was prepared. They seized Fallujah, and the city was the first to suffer under their black banner. These terrorists were armed to the teeth. No one would fight against them. It had to be stopped, or the country will turn over to Al-Qaeda. It was a fortress. It was a well-prepared city, buttressed, waiting for us to come. The only way you can clear a city is you have to search every house, you have to search every room, and you have to root out every insurgent. We sustained hundreds and hundreds of casualties. A third of my battalion was killed or wounded. It was the bunkers they would build inside houses. And you would go in the house, it would be all quiet and then they would open up on you or shoot you through a hole in the wall. If they didn't hit you right away with a machine gun, they would draw you all the way back to the back of the house where there's really nowhere to escape. There's such a fear, so you're standing in front of the door. You just kick down that door and there's a sense of relief. You only feel it if you survive. We can tell you our stories. We can show you our scars. But some moments must be experienced. I think we've done a really good job of appreciating service members. I think we've done a very poor job of telling the actual story of what happened.